Hi, this is Scott from Whiskey and Sunshine Off Grid. I keep asking you guys all the time if you have any questions. And uh, you know, eventually some of those questions could turn into videos. One, one of the things that uh, I get asked a lot about are these tire chains on my tractor. Yeah, they are a little bit overkill. I'll confess to that, but they work. So these, t these chains here are actually what are called diamond ice chains or basket chains, depending on, uh, you know, what area of the country you're in. Regionally, things get called different things. They call them diamond ice chains because this shape here kind of resembles a diamond. And the reason I like them, diamond chains in general, is because no matter what you run for tires, you're always driving on chains. A lot of these chains, people buy cross chains for their tractors, and they're just one single chain that goes across. I'll throw in some pictures of different types of tire chains. Uh, that chain can get in between the lugs of your tires and kind of get lost, and it's not doing anything. And then you run over one chain, it'll throw you away up in the air because it's, you know, it's kind of rough. These things, with these diamond ice chains, you're always driving on chain all the time. So it's a much smoother ride and you have much more constant traction. I've been buying my tire chains from this company. I think, uh, I don't know if they're either in uh, Pennsylvania or New York. I can't remember which. Tirechains.com. And I know that sounds like the last place you'd, you'd buy chains if you were serious. It sounds like an internet uh, startup company. But they have everything. These these people are everything. They have everything you can imagine. They have they have tire chains for your car, if you want to put tire chains on your car. Their products have been really good, or I wouldn't have gone back this many times. I've had these exact type of chains on two different tractors now, and I actually got studded cross chains uh, to put on all four tires of my plow truck, back when I had my plow truck. I don't think I ever waited more than three or four days for delivery of sets of chains, which to me is amazing. Uh, are they expensive? Yeah. Uh, these studded diamond ice chains, I think when I got them were around $700. I believe when I looked them up, I'll, uh, I'll get a link exactly to the chains that are on this machine. But it was, uh, I think it was around $900 now for a pair. Uh, they come usually UPS. They're usually inside of a big cardboard box, one chain each. Uh, and then there's a big canvas bag for storage if you choose to take them off and store them in a bag. I leave my chains on all year. We don't have any pavement here, so there's nothing to really beat up. As you can see, if you look close, these, uh, these are the uh, studs for the diamond. They call them diamond ice chains. This is why, because of these, these diamond studs. But they, they do wear if you have them on pavement enough. But as you can see, it's been like four years I've done pretty much nothing but take the sharp edges off the corners of the chains. There's still a good three-eighths of an inch of, of uh, stud there, not to mention the chain underneath. Uh, I could see these chains lasting me for several tractors. The only reason I don't have the same chains on this tractor is I did my last one. To be honest, I was too lazy to take them off, and I sold them on the machine and bought a new set because... These particular chains, taking them off the machine and putting them back on aren't easy. They're well made, don't get me wrong. They're just heavy and they're a lot. They're a lot to deal with. But they have the full size industrial hardware, you know, to to tighten them up. As you can see, I've tightened these up uh, two whole links now. Each each pair is actually considered a link in chain. A lot of people think one chain piece is a link, but it is not. It's actually two pieces. You can't have a link if you've only got one piece, right? So anyway, real good hardware there. Your, your basket chains or your diamond chains are held in good with uh, clevises. Or uh, over here, you've got this kind where they've shortened them and driven pins in. If you tell them when you go to uh, their website and you type in what your tractor is and your tire size, they will tell you what you have the possibilities that they have the chains on their, on their site, what will fit your machine. And when they say they fit, they mean it. I think uh, I've only had to take a few links out of one chain since I've been dealing with that company. 
So they're really good at getting the right chain to fit the right tire on the right vehicle, whether it's your tractor or whether it's your Audi. Doesn't matter. They've got it all. So anyway, this isn't a commercial for tirechains.com, but I guess in some ways it kind of is because they have some really good stuff. So I chose diamond ice chains because, well, the traction with the stud especially and the fact that I'm always driving on chains, so it always gives me power to the ground. Uh, you may not want diamond ice chains. Matter of fact, you may want anything but. You, you may want something that's uh, a little more benign, that's not gonna tear things up. Uh, this tractor lives in the ice and snow and in the woods. There's really nothing for it to hurt around the house. Uh, that's another reason that, you know, we run these chains and the R1 style tires. People will ask me, you know, do they tear up your lawn and stuff? Yes. Yes, they do. They absolutely do. You have to pay attention. You don't, I mean, they're not bad as long as you go straight. When you start making turns, they're going to tear up your lawn. So you have to pay attention. They're worth the hassle, though. They're definitely worth the hassle. If you go to tirechains.com, they've got, they've got chains for everything from, uh, you know, a full-on giant skitter or bucket loader that you'd be using, you know, working in the woods, any kind of rubber tired equipment to your garden tractor. And uh, they're very good about finding the right chain for the right machine for your purposes. So I, I encourage you to, to give them a shot. They've, they've used me really good over the years. I get nothing from this. It's just the way it is. They have good products and they have great service. Because we have chains on the back tires, He's going to use those to break up the ice on the driveway a little bit, break it up, get some of that dirt showing, and then when the sun hits that dirt, the dark spots, it melts it and it works so good. I'll show you the hill that we've been working on. All right, so I don't know if you can tell or not, but under here, or this part here, uh, he's driven on a little bit with the chains. You can see the tracks. But this is all like hard, um, icy pack. We've had a lot of warm days and cold nights. And uh, so it melts a little bit and then it freezes over and it gets hard. See over there, there's a lot of uh, ice. Round and around and around. Scuffs it all up just with the chain. He doesn't use anything else, just with the chains on the tires. Tirechains.com if anybody wants to pick some up for their tractor. That's where we got ours anyway. Uh, great company. Came real quick. Uh, great quality. We love them. There's the sun shining right on it. But he just goes up and down, up and down with those, just with the chains. And this is what he's done. I mean, some of this is with uh, the ashes. I've spread them here. Because it gets real steep right here. This is ice. A little slushy. But icy. But yeah. He just scuffs it up. And it breaks up enough so. It brings some of that dirt through. And then we get this nice hill. Look at that. There he is. If you have any more questions or thoughts regarding the chains, the tractor, uh, anything else we do here at Whiskey and Sunshine, drop us a line, leave a note in the comments, send us an email, let us know. You never know, you could be the subject of a next video. So if you want to see more videos with our tractor and our tire chains and chainsaws and off-grid in general, subscribe, like, so come on back, visit us again.